Give me one chance, star, yeah! Hello, our group would like to explain about photolithography process. Photolithography is a process of microfabrication to selectively remove parts of a thin film or the bulk of the substrate. These are the basic steps of photolithography. In the first step, the wafer is initially heated to a temperature sufficient to drive off any moisture that may be present on the wafer surface. Wafers that have been in storage must be chemically cleaned to remove contamination. Then, the wafer is oxidized with a layer of silicon dioxide coating. In the next step, the wafer is covered with photoresist by spin coating. A liquid solution of photoresist is dispensed on the wafer and the wafer is spun rapidly to produce a uniformly thick layer. The spin coating typically runs at 1200 to 4800 RPM for 30 to 60 seconds and produces a layer between 0.5 and 2.5 micrometers thick. The photoresist coated wafer is then soft baked or pre-baked to drive off excess solvent typically at 90 to 100 degrees Celsius for 5 to 30 minutes. Next, the wafer is exposed to UV light through a photomass. The photomass has been predetermined with patterns and shapes of the desired outcome. Once the UV light is turned on, the light will go through parts of the photomass that are exposed and will reach the photoresist layer, hence softening it. In this next step, the photoresist layer that was exposed can now be stripped off. The layer can be removed by using certain developer solutions. In the etching step, hydrofluoric acids removes the uppermost layer of the substrate in the areas that are not protected by the photoresist, which in this case is the oxide layer. Be aware that hydrofluoric acids is very corrosive to the human skin. In the final step, after a photoresist is no longer needed, it must be removed from the substrate. This usually requires a liquid resist stripper which chemically alters the resist so that it no longer adheres to the substrate. This is also known as piranha etching which is necessary to avoid the resist melting in the next step. Now the silicon wafer is ready for doping. For a better understanding, here is a 3D layout of the photolithography process. Here is an example of a silicon wafer that has already undergone the photolithography process and is ready to be used. We hope that through this video, you will have a clearer understanding of the importance and the uniqueness of photolithography. Thank you and goodbye.